So what I'm going to be doing today is a real simple way to add texture to your pages. I'm using a simple uh, get at the hardware store Venetian plaster. It's one of my favorites. And the only thing you need is a palette knife. So all of these textures we're going to create today will be created by first applying the Venetian plaster in a nice smooth it doesn't have to be perfect sometimes I just leave it like it is and other times I do really fun things by finding texturized pieces around the house so they're all going to start with this nice layer of Venetian plaster and it dries fairly quickly if you want it to dry sooner you could always use a little hair dryer so once it's applied simply like that you can take many this is just a simple comb and all I'm going to do is make some fun lines with the comb and we'll let it dry. It can be any design you want. You could use a comb. You can do the same thing with a brush, sticking with things you might have around the house. Now you don't want it to be so thick that it cracks, but you want it to be thick enough so you have something that you can work with. This one I'm doing just a little bit thicker and then I'm going to take something actually I'm going to let this one just set up for a minute and we'll come back to it. The next one we're going to do is really fun and simple again just applying, applying the Venetian plaster. Um, you can embed images into it if you wanted to. I've worked with it by putting paint in it, but I like to paint on top of it mostly because it's really, really a fun texture to work with. After it's laid down and dried, it's so smooth and pretty. So this is another just handy tool, a brush that I found. So I'm going to make a little bit more pattern, make it really kind of crazy little bit thicker and take some of that off. Now the thing about the Venetian plaster is that it will come right off when you're done. You just stick it in water. We'll let that one dry and then I'll show you how to add color. Okay we're back and all of the plaster is dry and what I've done is just put some acrylic paint in little dishes and I really didn't think too much about what I want to use but one thing that I do is I have a, a spray bottle with just water and I kind of give it a little spray it'll make your paint fly on easier and the whole trick to doing these to me is just to have fun remember just to have fun and pick out colors that maybe you wouldn't normally use and see what happens this is obviously something that is usually I think of bright signs. This is a really pretty hot pink, but as you can see, the textures are already starting to pop. And now I'm going to add a bright yellow, a little bit more pink. And as long as you know what color combinations complement each other, you really can't go wrong. What you end up with is a really pretty and interesting pattern and texture. Again, you can spray some water, get the paint to run. You can let this dry. You can add writing, wording, whatever you need. But when we started, this was just the white plaster that had been 
texturized. This one I think we used the comb or brush. But you can see how that ends up being a really, really pretty page. Now this one I did a little earlier. This is the one that had, um, we took the crate and paint, put paint on it and then embedded it in. Then I gave it a nice color wash. I've added a little pieces of my, uh, gotta have some bling. So this is flaked uh, gold leaf. Added that into it while it was wet. You can still continue to add as it dry. I found a little picture that I could put in so you can add your pictures. This gives you lots of space to write or print or do some of the things that Vicki showed you and some other tapes. This is the one that we did. This one had the egg crate and we stamped it, but before we did that, this paint was actually um, done with the palette knife while the Venetian plaster was wet. And then again, I just went back through with just a little bit of color. You can do lots with that one, that's pretty. This one came out really fun. It gets, it's not done, you can continue to add paint. The more paint you add, the more the colors begin to pop. And don't be afraid of it. And it changes it up. The more paint you add. If you wanted to make the circles in this one prominent, you could come back through it with maybe some more uh, white or color. But here you go. Again, a really pretty and fun page with very little effort, just using your Venetian plaster. This one we used the tool that I got at Home Depot, and then we used our circle and just stamped it and really came out fun. The last one I'm going to do, just for fun, is use a bright red. This one's a little bit more minimal. But as soon as you get that paint on, you can see the texture begin to pop, which is what makes it so much fun. Let's try a little pink in there. So if you want to give your pages an extra zing, now I actually use the Venetian plaster in my artwork, and I use it all the time um, when I'm trying to get that sort of an encaustic look. It looks like the encaustic paintings when it all comes down to it. So I'm giving this a good spray now to get some of the red off. This one's for Vicki. And there you have it, a really pretty page. So within a matter of moments, we made at least four or five really interesting pages with design, and it's all with texture. I love texture, and I love the way this works. I hope you'll enjoy it.